Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just the Tip with Father Funk. Today, we're going to be speeding up our workflow by setting up a project template. So, let's get into it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so first, I'm going to show you how to save your own project template, and then I'm going to show you what's in my project template, just to give you guys an idea of how to speed up your own workflow. So, to save your own project template, you simply go to Preferences, File slash Folder, and then Save Current Set as Default. Simple as that. And then every time you open Ableton, it'll look exactly the same. This is going to save you a ton of time and just speed up the whole process. So let's have a look at what I've got in my project template. So first of all, I've got a sidechain trigger here. I'm obviously using this to trigger all my sidechaining. And I've got a drums group, bass group, an instruments group, a vocals group, and an effects group. And these are all already coloured, just so I can keep track of where everything is. This is especially handy when I go back to old projects, um, and I can see clearly where everything is, what's in what group, and whatnot. In my drums group, this is all going through an EQ and a glue compressor. I have a drum rack. This channel is called Beef. I use this for my kick and snare. This is all going through an EQ and a glue compressor. And these are already set up to the settings that I like um, for each of these kind of elements. And then I have another drum rack here. This has loads of my favorite hi-hats and percussion sounds, just so I can grab them straight away, get a track going as quickly as possible. This is also going through an EQ and a glue compressor. And there's also a side change set up there in case I want to use that. Um, next, I've got a couple of my favorite claps. And then I have a break I like to use a lot. And then there's a couple of bonus drum tracks here, um, also with um, some side chaining set up. And finally, a crash. And then if we look at my bass group, similarly, we've got an EQ and a glue compressor, but I've also got a couple of other little handy things on here too, like bass mono, which is a utility preset. Um, and that's just making sure all the bass below 500 hertz is in mono. Um, obviously got a shape box set up here, which is what I'm using for the side chaining on the bass channel. Um, then I've got a few instances of serum here. I've got hip hop sub bass for my sub. And I've got this resample track, which is set to resampling, should I choose to resample any basses. So that just means I can get things going as quickly as possible with the bass sounds. Then I've look at instruments. Similarly, again, we've got EQ8. I've got some side chaining. This little rack, which I'll go into in another video. And again, we've got a shaper box here, doing some side chaining. Um, and then I've got some really quick, easy sounds um, to dig straight into, like an electric piano sound for sort of a Rhodes thing. It's a contact instrument. I've also got a saw lead sound. We've got a saw chord sound. I've got a clean guitar channel, which has got my clean guitar rack on, which I've made. Obviously for recording guitar. And then again, a couple of bonus tracks there. Next up is the vocal group. Um, again, got an EQ8 on there, just cutting out the lows already. Got some side chaining on there too. And then each of these vocal tracks have the same rack on. This is this little vocal fixer rack I made. Just got a dimension expander, some overdrive, EQ and a glue compressor. Um, this is kind of the most I'll ever do to a vocal really. So. I can kind of turn these things on and off as I please, depending on how much processing I want to do. Then finally, I've got an effects group here. Again, there's a couple of sounds in here that I like to use a lot, so I just threw them straight in there to save me having to dig them out every time. First of all, I've got this sweep of mine, which is from my pack uh, Future Funk and Glitch Hop, which is out on Sample Phonics. Sounds like this. Then I've got this 808 sub drop. This is from a slink pack. I use this one quite a lot, so again, chuck that one in there, save you some time. Then finally, I've got this chime, another one I use quite a lot. One thing I did forget to mention is I've set up a few send channels here. So I've got a room reverb, which is on Valhalla Room. I've got a plate reverb, which is Arteria Plate 140, really great reverb. And finally, I've got a delay. Um, and both of these reverbs have some side chaining on as well. On the master track, I've got my little mastering chain. This is something I set up a while ago, I've been tweaking over time. But yeah, basically just a utility. I'm cutting out some of the lows with the mid-side EQ. Got an EQ8. Glue compressor. Standard clip. And Fab Filter Pro L. Then finally we've got Voxengo Span um, as a spectrum analyzer right at the end of the chain. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, of course, it's entirely up to you um, with how you structure your songs and uh, what you want to put in your own project template. But basically, try and make it as organized as you can. Maybe throw in any sort of sounds that you tend to use a lot. 
just to speed up the process really. Thanks for watching guys, let me know in the comments what your tips are for improving your workflow. And if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future. Big loves guys, see you next time.